Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to be adding to the outside and inside covers. What I've done to prepare for this is I've cut a couple of pieces of card that I know are going to fit and leave a border on the inside. One piece of the paper. This was actually left over and then when I put it against there I kind of liked the look. So I think I'm going to add that as well. However, I may add some lace behind it. I also chose that as the central kind of focal point for the whole thing. I'm going to try and make this as pretty as possible. I have already edged this one with the vintage photo. So all I'm going to do now is put all these elements together. Something else I have to hand is some kitchen towel so that when I initially push things down any excess glue can be wiped up immediately. Then I take something like a bone folder or a smoothing tool and go along those edges. I'm not going to sew because it gets too thick and it messes my machine up. But if you were doing this purely paper onto paper, you could do some stitching at this point if you wanted to. I'm going to take my lace and rather than stitch again because this is cardstock, although it is lightweight cardstock so my machine would probably be okay with it, I am simply on the reverse so you won't see where it's glued, going to run some all-purpose glue which is Fabri-Tac for some of you, some of you are like me and you just use a normal all-purpose. Along the edge stick that down manage to stain that so what i will probably do is cut another piece of card to fit inside this one to create even more of a background there's always ways to overcome things like glue stains i feel like i've been playing with this forever but i put lace around that second square then I added some of the matching paper on top then I added the girl so now we have a really pretty front to the journal that just needs to be glued into place well it took some doing but I think I finally got to a result that I'm happy with I've added some lace at the top a small label from my own stash another label from my own stash and then on to one of the printable fussy cuts I've added a small gem. You've got double lace here so it's very lacy. I think I might even make the ribbon tie a laced one. I'm not sure yet. I've done the back cover mostly with my own stash so I have used some of our papers and I've actually created a little pocket there on the back cover. I will find a tag from our papers that will fit into there. I'm going to do a ribbon closure. When I put it down, I'm going to put it down satin side down because that way the satin side will be the one that's showing. And then I have a halfway point marked with some pencil using an all-purpose glue. I'm going to glue roughly along that halfway point. Place that ribbon over it to be extra secure. I've got some masking tape, straightforward builder's masking tape. Pop that over the ribbon as well. Next thing is I have a piece of card that I've cut to fit the inside. I'll probably round the inside. I know I didn't on the outside, but I think that might look neat on the inside. Glue that down over. And the next thing I have is actually the same paper as that's been used elsewhere. Now I've started to round corners, I will do that again. That can sit inside that. So you can see that this ribbon is being held down by glue, masking tape, bits of card, bits of paper. And then going to repeat that process on the back. Everything's down now and I've got a stack of things from the kit that I've already backed with card. Some of it's curled so I'm going to have to straighten it out. I've already started to straighten this one out which was cut from a page and backed with card and I'm going to make that a large pocket style tuck spot so I'll be gluing along 
that part of the roof line all the way down the side and that bottom piece as well. Now that's down, I've got a couple of these sunflower journal cards that I've edged in the vintage photo, added the blue ribbon to, and although it was backed in the purple, I've also edged round it in vintage photo and brushed on some spare vintage photo to tarnish that back look. They can now go into this large back pocket front cover have the seam I could cut that down and make that into a belly band that's now been trimmed down new rounded corners have been added I'm just going to run a small amount of glue down one edge and the other edge so that, that can be attached as a belly band I just want to find something small that's going to fit inside there as journal cards maybe two edge around those in the vintage photo and probably punch some holes and some ribbon in those as well. That is the end of tutorial two. We have our covers done, our ribbon added, an inside page done with a belly band and the back page done with a large pocket. It's already quite gator mouth because we didn't put a spine in it. Therefore, in our next tutorial we will do some page decoration but we're going to keep it fairly light and keep this more as an actual writing notebook and any spares we have left over from the kit I'm going to put into my plastic wallet and use for a different style of Provence journal at a future date.